Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Flywoo Flylens 85 2 inch 2S Whoop. This drone is available in a few versions and the one that I'm going to show you in this video is the O3 Lite drone kit. The drone kit will require you to install your own O3 system and the difference between the standard drone kit and the light one is that the light one will require you to install a naked version of the O3 camera unit. That's the only difference between the two versions as both support naked and full cased O3 VTX units. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box along with the Flylens 85 drone, you are getting a spare set of Genfen 2015 Bioblade propellers in addition to the one which is pre-installed on the drone. A bag with spare rubber dampers, spacers, nuts and screws, including the ones which are needed for installing the O3 unit. A Philips screwdriver and a hex key driver. The wiring diagram of the Goku Versatile F05 flight controller. A USB type A to a USB type C cable which is used for connecting the O3 unit to your computer. A flywheel sticker two linear antennas which are pre-installed on the drone and a 1000mAh2S 3D printed battery holder in addition to the 750mAh2S battery holder which is pre-installed on the drone. You should note that plenty of extra parts and accessories are available including LED strips in different colors and different action camera mounts which can be installed on the drone using these three screw threads. In terms of features and specs, the Flylens 85 features the Flyver Robo 1003 14,800 kV motors, the Goko F405 all-in-one flight controller, this is the Express LRS version so it features a built-in 2.4 GHz Express LRS radio receiver and is using an MPU 6000 gyro chip, and this flight controller also features an integrated 12 amperes VLLES 4-in-1 ESC that comes pre-flashed with BlueJ firmware. In addition, the Flylens is using an XT30 battery connector and the battery is mounted on the top side of the frame using a 3D printed TPU part. You can mount the battery either on the center of the frame or slightly backward in the following manner. So I need to insert the 3D printed TPU part and then twist it to the right or to the left. As for the frame, the thickness of the unibody carbon fiber plate is 2 mm. Its wheelbase is 91 mm and it features a true X pattern. The VTX unit is mounted on the bottom of the frame inside this molded plastic part using 20 by 20 or 25.5 by 25.5 mm mounting holes. It features motor protectors with an insert for the LED strip. The frame is available separately and it weighs 25.5 or 27 grams. Here you can see the frame on its own using the new 3D tool that was recently launched by Flywo. The tool is available for new Flywo products including the Flylens 85 drone and frame and the naked O3 upgrade case unit and it's not just cool, but also very useful as it enables you to thoroughly examine the part and understand its different requirements or the assembly procedure. In terms of weight, without the battery, the O3 light version of the Flylands 85 weighs 80.3 grams, so it is slightly lighter than the Happy Model Mobile 8 O3 and including this 750 mAh 2S electric battery, the total weight of this setup is 115 grams. As for setting up the Flylens 85, here is a quick overview of the Betaflight settings, which most of them are the settings that the Flylens 85 was shipped with, and I only changed the maximum arm angle to 180 instead of 25, and I set up my favorite flight modes and OSD elements. The drone comes pre-tuned, which is great, and regarding the flight modes, you should note that you can assign an auxiliary switch to the user 1 mode, and this mode is going to control the LED strip. As for binding the ExpressLRS version, you can either wait for the ready receiver to enter Wi-Fi mode, 
and then using the web UI on your computer or mobile device, configure your bind phrase, or preferably since the ready receiver is connected to the flight controller using a full UART, you can easily update the firmware of the ready receiver to the latest version using the Express LRS configurator tool. As I mentioned earlier, the version that I've got is the O3 Lite drone kit, which means that I had to install my own O3 system. The O3 six pins just connector is pre-soldered to the flight controller and the O3 system is pre-configured. So all I had to do is to mount the O3 VTX system and install the camera inside this mount, which is soft mounted using rubber dumpers in order to reduce vibrations. While the VTX mount supports both standard and decased O3 VTX units, the camera mount does not, so you will need to get the standard version in case you would like to mount a standard O3 camera unit on the Flylens 85, and in case you would like to keep it lighter and be able to use the Flywo O3 light and the filter set, you will need to go for the light version and the case your camera using the naked O3 upgrade case kit. The downside of the casing your camera is that the camera unit is more exposed, which means that in case of a crash, it is less likely to survive in comparison to the normal camera. And in case you would like to decase your VTX unit, you should note that you should be extra careful because the cable that connects the two O3 boards is very fragile. And unfortunately, you won't be able to purchase, at least at the moment of shooting this video, a replacement cable. The case in the camera unit is going to save you about four grams and the casing, the O3 VTX unit is going to save you more than that. And for full details, stay tuned for my upcoming video of the Naked O3 upgrade case kit. So overall, after testing out the Flywo Flylens 85, I can tell you that this is one of my favorite drones from Flywo and one of the best, if not the best option for a 2S 2-inch O3 setup. The reason that I'm saying that is because this drone is very enjoyable to fly, it is cruising very smoothly, and it produces a very high quality footage, and I think that Flywo made a wise decision to soft mount the O3 camera unit using these rubber dumpers. As for the performance of the O3 unit, even though it's a naked version, I didn't encounter any issues where the VTX overheated, and while the performance of these two antennas is not equivalent to the performance of the original O3 antenna, for example, you can see that in this part I'm experiencing some VTX issues which I normally don't experience with the regular O3 antenna, these antennas are definitely sufficient for mid-range flying. As for the performance of the Express LRS system, I didn't encounter any issues, so we are not going to be limited by the radio system. And in terms of flight time, I only tested the Flylens 85 using this 750 mAh 2S LHV battery, which should provide you with between four to five and a half minutes of flight time. Flywo also released a 1000 mAh 2S LHV battery, and I hope to be able to test it using the Flylens 85. Finally, the LED strip is a very nice add-on. The drone looks great at nighttime, and I'm sure that many users will find it useful. The drone is very compact, so it can literally fit in your packet. And in terms of durability, although I haven't crashed this drone, as far as I can tell, it is pretty resilient and is not going to break easily in case of a crash. Keep in mind though, that in case you're going to use a naked O3 VTX unit, and a naked camera, they are more exposed, and in case you're going to crash it, there is a good chance that at least the camera unit is not going to survive. Now, by the way, one last thing that I would like to add is that you won't be able to easily mount a battery on the top plate of the drone without using this 3D printed TPU mount, and since you're only getting one of each type, one for a 750 mAh and one for a 1000 mAh 2S battery, I do recommend to get a couple of extra 
3D printed TPU parts, as otherwise you might be stuck if the one that you have is going to be damaged. Anyway, that's going to do it for this quick video. Now I'm going to wrap it up with some flight footage. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. I wish you all happy flying and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.